What's up guys and welcome back to another fort video. Today we are doing one of our favorites and one of your favorite fort videos, the hidden speaker fort. So today's fort is brought to you by Cove. They sent us the speaker so we're gonna be using it in the fort. First, we gotta go build a fort. This is gonna be good. <laughs> we made it into the store and we are making our way directly to the toilet paper section. We can make a fort where we could bring this whole thing in there. Oh, that would be legendary. We have found the infamous toilet paper section, guys. It's up against the wall, too. Mm -hmm. Guys, I got an update for you. Andrew and I just looked at the toilet paper section, kind of scouted it out to see where we could go. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna clear in this area and then hopefully make our way out here because we wanna get in this area specifically because look, we can see out in this whole zone. Yeah, we can put the speaker light and the blue is like by the shelf that way we don't have to like do much Officially inside the fort guys as you can see there's a lot of clearing out to do in this fort there's a lot of toilet paper out a spot down the aisle behind these popcorn kernels. And one of the coolest features of this speaker is it actually has a 30 foot Bluetooth radius, which means we can put this 30 foot away from us. And that's really important since we're trying to be sneaky for this video. We want to put the speaker far away from us so people don't know it's us. Right, so I got it on. Let's just do a quick sound check on low volume. Watch out, sir. There is a giant hippopotamus coming down the aisle. <laughs> That's just on low. Yeah, I can oh. turn it up pretty loud. Like this is not even half. It's just pretty loud, guys. Excuse me? Oh my goodness! Do you hear how loud that is? So loud. I like how she said it in like a question. Excuse me? Also, another reason why we love this speaker is because look, it has an actual subwoofer in the back. For a portable speaker, I think that's pretty amazing. <laughs> so we're about to put the cove speaker into position, but guess what? We're not worried about this thing dying because on a single charge it gives you eight hours of battery life. So we can leave it on the shelf for a while. I don't think we're gonna be in here for eight hours. If you guys want to get a cove commuter speaker, there is a link in the description for you to check out. And if you use the code JSTU at checkouts right here, you're gonna get 65% off. Pretty good. 
good deal. So before we start the madness, guys, you already know, must have snacks. I'm very thirsty and hungry for something delicious, so let's go find something. Ah. <laughs> what? How does this work? You just cracked open a coconut. Mmm. <laughs> nah. All right, we're doing an audio test. Okay. What? Louder. I might need to turn it up a little bit. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect volume. Ready? Yeah. Um, excuse me? Guys, nice. this is going to be legendary. That was so loud, and those ladies were like, huh? <laughs> we just got the GoPro set up. Look at that view. You can see the whole aisle. And if someone comes by, you know, we can get some zoom ins. <laughs> Epic. Quick, back into the fort. Now, it's time to try and see if we can get anybody confused who walks down here. Now. Excuse me? Excuse me? Watch out, sir. There is a giant hippopotamus coming down the aisle. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I wasn't looking. That was a full me. I wasn't even looking at it. So. Excuse me, sir. What are you looking for? I thought it was the robot. Oh. I'm trying to Hurry. 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 Go. Excuse me, ma'am. detector activated. Please stay here while we get an associate to come assist you in getting your product. Thank you for activating this service. came in here. He was probably so confused. Like, uh, I'm never going in there again. The employee literally just was phoning into another uh, employee. And he was saying, hey, does the robot have a customer service button on it? <laughs> so the employees are having a discussion over there. They can't figure out why the robot's talking. <laughs> Basically, 
video. From what I heard, I think they were convinced that the robot got stuck, and so that's why it was talking. <laughs> <laughs> that employee's name's David, so we're good. Should we have him say, like, David, please come see the robot for... <laughs> yeah, I said, David, robot is stuck again, needs assistance. <laughs> Guys, this is nervous because the employees are onto us, but they don't know what they're looking for. <laughs> I know, so it's like we could potentially get caught, but then it's just uh, it's just too funny because he's really confused. Now we know his name because of his name tag. David, <laughs> David, robot is stuck again. Please, David, Walmart robot, <laughs> Walmart robot off grid. I'm just writing more Davids. David, just keep going, David. David. <laughs> I doubt he told his parents, so now he has a secret. David's right there. David's right over there. Oh man, but something like that. Because here's the thing: if we play a sentence for too long, somebody near it will easily be able to find the speaker. Okay, David. Robot is stuck again. Please, David. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> He's got his eyes out for robot. He's like, where's that thing? <laughs> It might be on to us. I'm actually surprised he didn't catch us. I know. Well, we made it out safely, guys. Mission success. Let's go. That was a fun episode. But shout out to Cove. Thanks for the speaker. We couldn't have done this video without it. If you guys want to see us do part two of this, make sure you smash the like button because we could take this to the next level. You definitely can. Come. Hit that like button and click right here to watch another video that you might enjoy. And as always, make sure y'all laugh daily. See you next time. Goodbye.